If you're a coach and or a course creator who feels like you're in a stagnant or stuck place, you're uploading video after video on YouTube, you're creating and publishing post after post on social media, blog post after blog post on your website, and putting out podcast after podcast, all with little to no growth in terms of your following, let alone you growing your list of paying customers. Well, stay tuned because I've got the professional coach-based business strategy that's made just for entrepreneurs like you. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneurs who want their content marketing to convert content consumers into paying customers. Look, I've had eight years of experience coaching what's become thousands of people in total, and a lot of what I've seen has led me to create this video about what should be part of your professional coach business strategy. Once you know the strategy and the specific order in which you need to do things, I think that moving forward, you'll have a better idea about how to do things more effectively, from your business branding to your multi-platform traffic driving strategy. You'll see. In the meantime, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get the help that entrepreneurs like you need to succeed with content marketing that drives traffic to your business so that you can do more business. I recently did a video entitled Get More People to Watch Your Videos as a Professional Coach, and in it, I discussed some things you might not be taking into consideration when creating and publishing your content videos, short form videos, even picture and graphic based content posts, blogs, podcasts, whatever the content really, the advice work that I give you so that you've got the heads up on what to do to get more traffic to your free offerings so that you build up enough no like and trust with your audience that they start springing for your paid offerings. So if you haven't watched that previous video yet, be sure to check it out after you're done watching this one. Now, let's get more into the subject of what I think you need to take into consideration when it comes to your professional coach business strategy. Strategy part one, who's your ideal customer? The problem that most coaches and or course creators have when they first start out is that they are putting themselves at the center of the universe, and that's totally wrong. Like. You know what's best for your ideal customer. You know what they want to need, or do you? Did you do the market research about your ideal customer, or did you just gloss over that, or do like a limp handshake's worth of work on that front? You have to make sure that your ideal customer is the center of your universe, or the entire engine block of your business is cracked. So forget about whether the pistons in that engine block are firing or working. The foundation of your business is cracked, shoddy, or even non-existent. And when you're creating content, it should not focus on you. It should be all about your ideal customer, their main pain point that your business is meant to serve and the way in which you can get your ideal customer out of pain and into pleasure in a way that's different from the norm. You've got that X factor that makes you different in a way that matters to them. You're just the conduit to them getting the results that they want and or need in their lives. And as much as you might be like, sure, Stacy, I know that. The question I have for you is, are you sure? Because here's the thing, I get it. It can be hard to lose focus and to keep focus. After all, you're the coach. You're creating the courses, the boot camps, the lessons, or plans for your one-on-group -on -group coaching experiences, your paid offerings, you know? You carry yourself around 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And like, okay, who's the person doing the live streams? You, posting the replays? You, especially if you don't have a team to delegate things to yet. And sure, who's the person creating the content and editing it to put on YouTube, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, TikTok, wherever? Again, likely you. but. While you're an integral part of the content that's being created, of course, both free and paid content, 
If you are positioning yourself as the center of all things to the near exclusion of your audience and you simply tell yourself, well, people will come to my free content. It's what they need. It's what they want. I just know it is. So they'll subscribe or follow me and they'll keep coming back and they'll buy my stuff too. Well, that doesn't tend to work as automatically as you think it might. This sort of generalized and vanilla approach that's not as customer centric or I, ideal customer centric is what I described earlier. Well, that, that might have worked, say, five, 10 years ago, but not now. There's too much competition. And to someone from the outside looking in, they may check you out for a few minutes and then move on, never to see your content again because you're to them too much of a general me too and also ran. Nobody needs Oprah Jr. or Tony Robbins III. They've already followed or subscribed to about a thousand of those types of folks. And they may have bought a bunch of their paid offerings too. And those paid offerings may or may not have worked for them. Or they're still seeking something that's even more of a perfect fit for them than anything that's come before. And that's their prerogative. Members of your niche, if it's sufficiently specific, narrowed down, and well-defined, need something that's more custom crafted to who they are as a content consumer and as a future customer of yours. So a video that contains a formula to help you out on this front, not just in terms of narrowing down your niche, but coming up with a unique value proposition that actually works is contained in my video entitled, How to Start as a Professional Coach. So that's kind of like required viewing, but I promise you that video is gonna be worth the extra time it takes for you to watch it. Once you've narrowed down your niche and really gotten very fine grain in terms of who your ideal customer is and what they're all about in a very specific way, beyond them just needing to lose more weight, have a better relationship, or make more money, you know, because that's just solutions that smack of being way too general. It's a great start, but you've got to go beyond that or build upon it in a way that will totally resonate with your ideal customer. Like you really get what makes your ideal customer tick, who they are, how they're living their lives, why they're a different flavor of ice cream from all the bland, beige, and boring that's already out there, what I call the three bad Bs. And you understand why they want to have the outcome that they want. Then it's on to the next piece of the professional coach business strategy strategy I'm laying out here, and that is strategy part two. What's their intersecting interest? When you understand your ideal customer, you can make a very educated guess about what I call their intersecting interest or the interest that would bring them to the free content, such as the content you publish, so that you can get found in search by them on social and on Google and on YouTube, so that you can raise awareness about your business, its offerings, and what makes it different. Once you understand your ideal customer and that intersecting interest, also known as their main pain point, you know, that a business, even a coaching business like yours, is going to help them solve, right, or to resolve in terms of an issue, that understanding of your ideal customer is going to affect your branding because you'll know what attracts them versus what repels them, and you'll make the necessary tweaks to entice them to consume your content, both free and paid, even more. Once you understand your ideal customer, you'll understand why they keep consuming content that, like, that's like yours in terms of what they want to get out of consuming that content, given the unique type of person that your ideal customer is. People don't just buy products, they're buying into what it means for them to accept your offer, purchase your offering, and use it to improve their lives in a specific way. So that intersecting interest might just have everything to do with a mean pain point that they have or a mean passion point that they have. Knowing this and being sensitive to that intersecting interest can help you to optimize your content to be found by such specific people where they can hear from you during your lives and you can all talk shop and or you can pose questions to them during your edited videos that you post to YouTube, say, but you can all still talk shop in the comments down below, back and forth, and you and all your ideal customers, 
That not only increases rapport between you and them, but it also fosters the creation of a community who's loyal to you and to one another because of that intersecting interest they all have in common. The more you pay attention to that intersecting interest that would lead someone to search up content like yours and consume content like yours in a way that's specific, narrowed down for search and custom crafted to fit that type of viewer like a glove, you now have a way to differentiate yourself from a million Oprah's and Tony Robbins wannabes. And bam, you get more attention, a more passionate community that grows every day. And man, you definitely have a professional coach business strategy that works better and better with each piece of content you create. That'll increase the no like and trust factor or the KLT factor as I call it. And the higher your KLT, the better your sales can be. That leads us to strategy part three, optimize custom crafted content. So now you're no longer trying to be everything to everybody. You're not another me too and also ran. You're not just parroting the same old, same old advice, reeking of the three bad bees yourself. You're getting very specific in terms of who your ideal customer is, and you're creating everything just for people like them. Free content, paid content, the works. So once members of your niche find you, they're more likely to love you, follow you, subscribe to you, and tell other people who are also like them about you, thereby growing your following for you even more. And eventually, they'll move across what I refer to as the sales success spectrum from content browsers to paid offering buyers. But how do you get found? Well, you will not likely get found if you use keywords and where applicable hashtags to title and describe your content. Like, generally, like my advice about weight loss is not what people are searching for. Think about it. Is that the type of search you run when you're on YouTube, for example? Nope. So you want to get very specific and fine grained about how you title your videos, making them keyword rich. Not so much for the video you're creating from your perspective, but really more so for what your ideal customer is searching for on that platform. Maybe if your ideal customer is an older woman who is postmenopausal, you want to title your videos, for example, something along the lines of this, weight loss tips for menopausal women. You'll come up easier in search because you've narrowed everything down so much, but you'll also be speaking the specific language of the unique individuals who require your more custom crafted solution than some generic weight loss boot camp thing you've got going on. So look, when you're coming up with a professional coach business strategy, you need all three parts of this strategy, yes, but you need to also handle them in a specific order as I've laid out everything you do, from branding to content creation to content marketing of your pro coach and or course creation business. It must be done through the lens of your ideal customer. Put them in the second or third piece of this equation and everything gets wrecked because what you're doing in terms of branding, content creation, and even content optimization on a given platform will be too random, too scattershot. It just won't work so well. Or again, you'll be more you focused and nobody cares about you. They care about themselves and what they can get out of the free content they're consuming as they're on the hunt for the paid offerings they know they need to purchase if they want to get to their desired outcome in a faster and more frictionless way. You've got to focus on the ideal customer, the intersecting interest they have that's specific to who they are and what they want, and that has to drive the bus of your brand. People are never tired of content and content creators who give them custom crafted content that's centered on what they're passionate about. And keep in mind, even if you're more strictly creating videos to be seen on YouTube as part of your organic content marketing strategy right now, once you get more specific and narrowed down niche focused in terms of your keywords on that platform, which will help you rank increasingly over time, you need to post content on other platforms besides YouTube, like Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook to increase your organic discoverability by members of your niche. And where there's a way to index your content with hashtags, yes, you've got to be just as niche 
specific about the hashtags you use too with your social posts driving people from those social platforms to your YouTube channel and yes to your sales funnels and or pages on your website where they can purchase your offerings from. If you're too broad, you'll be buried, no one will notice, and no one will care. So as part of your professional coach business strategy, you have to stop just endlessly grinding on YouTube and get found on other platforms too. Any entrepreneur's biggest problem in terms of growth typically is discoverability or a lack thereof. Follow this professional coach business strategy and it'll go a long way towards helping you solve that problem. So listen, I wanna hear from you. Have you ever considered having a professional coach business strategy like this one? And what do you think of the proposed professional coach business strategy that I just laid out here in this video? Comment below, I do read your comments. In the meantime, if you want more help in terms of distinguishing yourself from the crowd and increasing your trustworthiness in the eyes of your niche, I actually have a freebie for you to pick up called 10 Reasons Why You're Viewed as a Fake Guru and How to Gain Credibility and Customers Instead. And you can pick it up at don'tbeafakeguru.com. The link for you to score that freebie guide is in the show notes or the description down below. There you have it. You now have my answer when it comes to the subject of what should be a part of any successful professional coach business strategy. Need more help? Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can also help to blow up your business. Enjoy.